Not at all. I didn't talk about doubts about the existence of the Eurozone or its composition. That was not at all uh, the point in my uh, talk. I mean, some of your colleagues ask about the target risks, and I explained to them a hypothetical case in which, in which these okay. uh, would become a risk for, for the Bundesbank. Yeah. But I do believe that this is a purely hypothetical scenario, and we are not, uh, we are not in a way, accommodating uh, these risks in, in our balance sheet, as you could see. Yeah, let us talk a bit about, about your balance sheet. The risk provisions, of course, are now bigger than last year. Um, when do you expect interest rates to rise? Well, that has nothing to do with our risk provisions, to be quite, uh, quite frank. I mean, you're right, we increased our risk provisions because our, the structure of our balance sheet and, of course, the size of our balance sheet has grown. And we have an open interest rate position, which is quite sizable. And in case interest rates would rise, this would, of course, mean a risk for our profits and, uh, 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 of course, for our, for our balance sheet. And this risk we are provisioning for. Uh, but we are not forecasting uh, uh, interest rate decisions. We are simulating potential interest rate paths and uh, derive our risk provisioning from there. I mean, the Bundesbank is like the biggest central bank in the euro system. So you take on most of the negative yielding debt, I guess, uh, among these central banks of the euro system. Is there any talk about loss sharing as well? No, we, we are not taking on all these uh, risks because we are the largest central bank, but we, of course we buy German debt. Yes. And that's the characteristic of uh, the most recent uh, sovereign debt purchase program, that each national central bank buys the debt of its own member state. And as you know, German interest rates are uh, rather low in comparison to their, to their peers. And that's why uh, the assets that we have on our balance sheet yield uh, very few returns. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.